We know what this is, don't we? It's the friggin' plate heat exchanger. Let's get her unpacked. 60 kilos. I do enjoy the quiet. table I must admit it's a welcome distraction it is a welcome distraction to the brewery today so design temp 100 degrees C design pressure 6 bar G test pressure 9 bar volume 4 litres so we know what we're losing then don't we in terms of uh, dead space in the chiller 4 litres not a lot at all so, really, oh yes, no wonder she's heavy, it's been shipped with water, any in there, yes. So yeah, I mean, we all want to see this bad boy installed ASAP, but I do need to get in touch with Andy, get some fittings sorted, these are actually BSP, I just asked for normal uh, tube out, but We've got a freaking plate chiller. It's been a long time coming. UK Exchange is limited. I must admit though, I did buy it on the card. <laughs> it's only going to take me a year to pay back. Well, never mind. Maybe next month's Patreon will go towards a little bit of that. Cheers, folks. I'm super stoked. But I've got a lot on. I can't just stop here and play around with the heat exchanger because frankly I'm not going to be brewing for the next week so I need to get the pub a little bit closer to where uh, well we need to start in the bar actually and I've got to clean this water up what? I mean come on let's face it you knew I couldn't resist taking it apart didn't you? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's so difficult for them to remain entertained all day when, of course, Dad's at work and bores them to death. But we've had quite a productive day today. We've run some cables for CCTV, taken down all this useless lighting that we don't want, hence the hole in the wall up there. Semi removed the bar, the old bar, the crap bar. It's the right state. Whoever built this should hang their head in shame. It's a proper bodge. Same with the electrics coming through here. You saw some of the clips on how this was put up. Really, really dodgy tackle. Right, we'll just turn all the lights off. So we decided we're probably going to house the CCTV just behind me here at the top of the stairs. Seems we can't think of much else to use that particular area for. I'm just going to go back down here and put the electricity back on. We've got most of the areas here foamed. Just one or two little bits I could probably do it tonight before we go. Same in here, all the top sections foamed. Uh, and then Stuart brought those goodies back from the auction, so we've got, well, let's go and have a look at them now before we uh, go home, because we're about to wrap up. We also uh, give the central heating a test. Fired that up today. The heating works. Yeah. And the hot water works. Oh my God. So we picked this engine up. Gemma thinks it's a tractor engine. I think you never said little, I said little if it is. I think it's just a, a petrol engine out of a car. Um, but it's painted up and it's been cut out in sections so you can see where the explosions happen on the inside for instance. And on this side you can see how this little flicker works. Hey, is that for a pump of some type? I think so. It's great, it's all been cut away so you can see the cams and everything. So we're going to pop that in the pub. I think it'll look tip top. Good little display. Even cut away the sump look. Oh, I forgot to get down there and blow it all clean. And then we also managed to pick up some old China tea chests. So these will make really nice display boxes, I think in the pub. So we're really getting quite a lot of stuff together to give the pub character. So now it's down to me to actually start putting some foundations down, some framework in there. We've got the steel ordered, the timber will come next, and then it's time to start construction. And a lot of this construction is gonna be welding, boys and girls. Because half of it's gonna be made out of this stuff. And wood, wood and metal. Break yeah. So I'm gonna wrap up. We'll see you tomorrow.